Hello guys, I was asked to do a video showing you what my model scenery looks like. So that's what I'm doing here today. I don't have room to set the whole thing up, so what I'm going to do instead is kind of follow a, a tractor as it goes around the scenery. So we're following the John Deere 9560R and the first field it goes into is supposed to be a field that you can plow. So it's supposed to be full of coffee grind for testing things like plows and maybe excavators and other kind of machinery like that. I don't have to coffee grind in the field because I have to keep rearranging the uh, sections of the scenery to make the video here so it would have uh, ended up getting spilt everywhere. Also you'll notice that there's the different things like gates missing and that's because the scenery is still a work in progress I'm not completely finished with a couple of fences and different things to do yet. So now we've reached the second section of my kind of scenery. Uh, the idea with this section was to be a kind of a staging area where you could uh, park up your vehicles like I've done with the John Deere here. But also on the other side of the road there's a long section, looks like gravel, where you could park up a low loader if you wanted to load it with pallets or maybe drive an excavator up onto it. That's uh, what that area is for. And with that in mind we can also store our cargo on the other side of the road alongside our vehicles. So we might have a tractor with a loader parked up there to lift pallets and other cargo onto a low loader or a flatbed. We can have a truck parked up there just the same as the tractor, it doesn't really make any difference. All the sections of my scenery are quite small because I was trying to get a little bit of everything into the scenery so that I could test models for different types of conditions like the, the soil or a section with gravel I'm going to show you in a minute. So because my scenery is so small it uh, can be quite challenging to get the models to uh, actually to steer tight enough to go around the corners but I think that's a good thing for me because it will push me to um, try and make the steering better on the models, make them able to turn tighter corners, maybe even add steering into some trailers if I need to. Well, our tour guide has switched to the John Deere 6920S and picked up a load of uh, concrete pipes and for some reason decided to spin around this field here. But this is just the third section of my scenery, very simple fields, nothing in it really, just a fence and some uh, paper covered in a grass like fibre. And now we come around to the section that I'm more interested in, this is basically the heavy machinery end of things. So what we're coming into here is a kind of like a quarry. We have these three bays here where I intend to drop off uh, bits of gravel that have been processed. So maybe we dump finer material in the first bay and move on to the roughest material in the last bay. Behind the bays here there's an area that I fill with gravel and then I put an excavator in there. And the idea is that your tractor comes along the road here and it reverses down beside the base into the section where the excavator is. That will then load the trailer. You leave this kind of quarry area and head off to a processing area where you dump your mixed up materials and that will get processed in some sort of trommel wheel. Then the processed material is loaded onto a trailer again and comes back to be dumped in these bays. Um, it's not much point to that, it's just to have the tractors doing something on the scenery rather than the excavator just loading directly into the trauma and the material being processed without anything happening in between. I don't have the processing section finished, in fact this is the final section here. It's a little slatted shed that I just 3D printed the frame and covered it in some corrugated uh, paper that I just painted blue and glued to the frame. The rest of the frame is just copper wire that I soldered and spray painted silver and then I added some LEDs in the roof to light it. I plan to make another section across from this shed which has a machinery shed on it and also to make that processing area I talked about earlier and if I still have space then I might even make a small forestry area because I'd like to make some forestry machinery at some point. But that's all I have for now so if you like that little tour make sure and hit the like button and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video. And that's everything so thanks very much for watching.